It's like a leg on the on the table. Hi, I'm Christine Gritman, and this is Social, the show that I do every Friday at noon, where I speak to another small business owner in the Hudson Valley about how they're using social media to build their business. And today I'm here with Lori Ostrowski, um, who is the founder of Simply Leap Coaching and also the founder of Hudson Valley Women in Business, a group of which I'm a part. Welcome, Lori. Thank you. It's a pleasure. So uh, first, let's, let's get to it. Let's talk about your two businesses. What is Simply Leap? So Simply Leap um, is, I've been in business for um, nearly 12 years now. And uh, so I'm, I'm a coach for women entrepreneurs and women looking to leap in a new way in their careers. Um, I'm also an author of two books um, and a speaker. And then Hudson Valley Women in Business. You started that group in 2013, was it? 2014. 2014. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about what that is. Yeah, sure. So Hudson Valley Women in Business was founded really because I wanted to meet and work with other uh, women business owners um, and collaborate with them. Because I feel like, you know, when you work for yourself, especially in a consulting capacity, you're often in your own head, mm -hmm. trying to figure things out, bugging people in your life. Um, and it can feel kind of lonely. And so when I moved back to the Hudson Valley a few years ago, I thought, you know, I need new friends. That would be good. Um, and who would I most like to hang out with? Well, other women business owners, because I feel like we approach business in unique ways um, and that they would, you know, other women business owners would really understand what was going on with me and, and for my business. Um, and so we just, it really just started as this wonderful group of friends and then um, has blossomed into a community of nearly 2,000 members um, that stretch from Rockland and Westchester counties all the way up to Albany. Now that's incredible reach. Yeah. Where did it start? In Kingston or? Um, actually, unbelievably, it started in Beacon, um, mm -hmm. even though I wasn't living there, um, because when I moved back, I thought, okay, well, where, where are the entrepreneurs? Mm -hmm. um, I found that there was a co-working space in Beacon, um, and I, I became a member there and met my first couple of women entrepreneurs there. Um, we had a drink there one night and then it's really kind of blossomed out from Beacon. We were actually originally named Beacon Women in Business, even oh. although I was not living in Beacon at the time and still don't. Um, so yeah, it's just really kind of beautifully morphed um, as we realized that there are more women um, in these communities that are really looking to um, connect with one another. So it started with a group of women at Beacon, mm -hmm. and then it expanded, it, it originally expanded just people bringing other people into yes. the group, word of mouth. Yes. But now there is a very active Hudson Valley Women in Business Facebook group, and mm -hmm. I know that there have been other ways in which people have connected online. Can you tell us a little bit about how how you brought the group to social media yeah. and how it has impacted the, group, the group's growth? Yeah, so actually I um, I had really great experiences with, with social media for my own business, for mm -hmm. Simply Leap. What have you done um, for that? When I moved to, previous to the Hudson Valley, I actually lived in Washington, D.C. And when I moved there, um, Twitter was, was really starting to grow. Mm -hmm. And so I just started meeting people through Twitter. And, and DC is an incredible environment for, um, they love their networking events even more than the Hudson Valley, believe it or not. And um, and so I just follow, started following hashtags. And mm -hmm. back then we used to have something called Tweet Ups, which yeah. is an opportunity to meet your Twitter people in person. And that was kind of fascinating, that just all that concept. So that was happening when I was in Washington, DC. And I really grew my, um, my connections through that. Um, I love that. What sort of conversations were happening on Twitter that you were part of? Um, well, in DC, like we would talk about whatever was happening politically, but we also would talk about, so DC has actually two spheres. It has the political realm, but really it has another realm separate to that for business owners. And so the majority of us who were meeting were business business owners and or desired to work for themselves. And so we were talking about, um, um, how to, you know, we were actually making connections. We were making business connections. So you would be introduced to potential clients and business partners through Twitter. Oh, I love that. And so then, would just kind of tweet both of you and say, yes. hey, you, you guys should meet. Yes, exactly. Oh, and that. then we would meet in person at these tweet ups that would happen and be like, oh my gosh, I finally saw you. This is so great. And you know, that kind of thing is still yeah. happening 
through the Facebook group and through Instagram and stuff. But I remember that that felt like an original concept yeah. you know, back with Twitter. That's the best way to use social yeah. media, not to yeah. replace real life contacts, but mm -hmm. to facilitate yes. greater real life connections. Oh my that is huge. Yeah. And so as an introvert, I am not normally comfortable in networking situations. I know that they're kind of necessary, but I really want um, a way to get through it and then feel successful at it. Um, and so Twitter was actually really helpful to me in the beginning because we had already made a connection, even if we had met. So there was a reason for us to talk when we were in person. There was a reason for me to look for someone when I went to an event. Um, and, it, and having a job when you're an introvert and going into a big environment is really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, and so I actually did the same thing when I moved back to the Hudson Valley. Um, I and only this time, well, I was I was looking, I was trying to use Twitter, but really what worked for me was Instagram because then oh. Instagram was really growing at that point when I moved back. And so I just followed the Hudson Valley hashtag and I just started following businesses that were part of it. And, and now you can literally follow hashtags. That yes. is a very recent feature. Before you had to kind of do it manually, you would click on the hashtag or search for the mm -hmm. hashtag. Now it puts it right in your feed if you choose yeah. to follow a hashtag. It's kind of straight. amazing. Yeah. So hashtag Hudson Valley. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag HVWIB, which is Hudson Valley Women in Business. Um, yeah. So that. Um, and again, it gave me something. So like when I went to like a craft fair or, you know, that kind of thing, I would approach someone's booth and say like, oh, I've been following you on Instagram. I or we, remember we had that conversation on Instagram. Um, uh, so that would make me feel a little bit more brave. Mm -hmm. um, but then, and then I think our community has really grown from that. Yes. Um, Instagram has been really helpful to Hudson Valley Women in Business growth. Um, uh, highlighting the other women in our community, but then also connecting with other businesses and being seen as a presence and like a worthwhile um, connection and, and network to be part of. Absolutely. It shows, hey, we're a real thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, groups, Facebook groups have had quite an evolution. Yeah. Originally, I was in very few Facebook groups and, you know, then it became, you know, the mommy groups and the local town groups mm -hmm. and things of that nature. But now, groups have started to become a real place for professional networking. Yeah. And yours is one of the first groups that I personally joined where I really got a direct professional benefit from it. Oh, well, so that's good to hear. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and in fact, Hudson Valley Women in Business is more about a group than a page, mm -hmm. which was a really interesting choice and has turned out to be really good because you get notifications for stuff in groups a lot faster because you've informed Facebook's algorithm that you really want to hear from these people. Yeah. So how have you, when did you start the group and how have you steered it and managed it? Because it's also a very well managed group, I have to Thank say. You. Thank you. I'm a little obsessed There's no about chaos. That. Um, so I, um, the, the group, uh, Hudson Valley Women in Business, the Facebook group is, um, it began probably um, five to six months after our original meeting in December, 2014, when we realized that, um, we originally went to email like, hey, we're gonna meet up at this day. And then we realized, oh, it'd be really great to keep the connection going. Yeah. Beyond these in-person meetings that we would do once a month, which we still do once a month. Um, it would be great to have an ongoing thing. All right, well, probably a Facebook group would, would work. And immediately, the moment I started the Facebook group, I said, um, I'm not gonna call it that. I'm gonna call it a community. So in fact, we've said the word group more than I have ever said it. And the reason I say community is because I wanted to establish that feeling. Yes. Um, you participate in a community. Yes. And you feel ownership in it. You feel ownership in it. You feel um, sensitive about it and, um, and it's important to you and you welcome friends to it. I want you to be part of my community. That means something different than, oh, there's this great group and we get to buy and sell things on it or whatever. You know, it's, it's, you get to promote yourself. Like that isn't really what this community is about. It is the sharing. And that's, um, that also has led to how I moderate the group. Mm -hmm. We really only post self promotions on one day in one thread because the rest of the time is really meant to connect with one another, to, to support one another, to share inspiration, to motivate each other, to keep going, to provide feedback and ideas. Um, that's, that's what's way more important. So I feel like the moderation is really led from the fact that this is called a community 
and you have to answer questions yeah. to get into it. You can't just mm -hmm. say join and you're in. Yeah. You do have to take that extra two seconds. They're not hard questions. You have to take that extra two seconds. Yeah. And um, I forget, is it about what you do? Like, do you do business in the Hudson Valley and have you joined the mailing list? I think it's that simple. It's, yeah, I have three questions. One is, um, are you based in the Hudson Valley? Because we have folks that are in the Hudson Valley like part time or um, or are like across the Connecticut border, across the New Jersey border. And unfortunately it's like, we want it to be really specific to mm -hmm. the Hudson Valley. So that way you know that people are local. Um, and the second question is, um, do you own or do you want to own a business? So um, it's an entrepreneur's group. Really. It is very much, it's very much about business ownership. So we have also had people who are executive directors of, of organizations and leaders of organizations. And unfortunately they don't make, you know, they're, they're not, um, allowed to be members. And really it's because we want the conversation to be about ownership and what it's like to figure it out in your head. Um, that's why we need each other. Yeah, that is why that is also what creates the, you know, we were talking before about vulnerability and yeah. you know, it creates like, I'm kind of vulnerably sharing, like, this is what it's like for me to try to figure it out. And I know that, you know what I'm talking about mm -hmm. because you're there too. Um, so those, those two questions and then about our mailing list to try mm -hmm. to ensure that we have multiple ways of connecting with one another. Not everybody is on Facebook all the time. Um, so the mailing list is really, um, allows other people to be part of it. Absolutely. And that's been really great. And another thing that I really like about how you manage the group, part of how you prevent it from falling into chaos, um, is the fact that every day, every weekday, mm -hmm. pretty much there's a focus. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not sure how long that's been a part of it. I don't know if you've been doing that from the beginning, but I'd like to hear about um, how you came to those focal points. That started, um, I don't know, a year and a half or so ago. It wasn't, it wasn't early on. Um, and it was probably being in other groups um, and other Facebook groups when I realized like, oh, they're doing themed things. It gives and, you a reason to go back. And actually I resisted it. I, I was like, oh, I don't know about theme things. Where, <laughs> like, are people going to respond to it? And then I realized like, we actually all respond to structure way better than chaos. Yes. Like we say that we want freedom, even as entrepreneurs, we say we want freedom, but give us structure and that really helps. Yeah. So the moment I started themed um, days, and I think it was just a couple days to begin with, we've gone all days um, just recently. But um, those couple days were like, oh, people responded so much to that mm -hmm. and they looked forward to it. And then they also came to me, especially the first thing that we established was that Friday was self-promotion Friday and you could only respond to the post. You can't promote yourself separately in the group. You have to respond in comments. Like that is one of the number one things that people come to me and be like, oh my gosh, it was so great when you decided to do that because it's all in one place. I know where to look. I know what day I need to go in there. And that means the rest of the time I can really enjoy being in the group because mm -hmm. I'm not going to be sold to. And if you're active in the community, you're still getting visibility for yourself and what you do. If you are offering value to other people on those other threads, yeah. you're still putting yourself out there. Yeah. It's just not in a promotional way. It's in a helpful way. Yeah. So what are those other days? Yeah. Well, so I actually, I want to say something about mm -hmm. that, which is, um, yeah, I tell my, I tell my clients and I tell women in our community the same things, which is, you actually are going to get more business mm -hmm. from the relationships that you develop, from the conversations that you have, from the help that you give to someone else in the group um, and being available and being seen. You get way more business than yes. you do from promotions. You in get back. If we haven't seen you the rest of the time and then you're just posting in promotions, most people are going to ignore it. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, I don't know who that person is. And so, yeah, the relationship goes so far. Um, and now I don't remember what you'd ask me. The other days of the week. <laughs> oh, yes. So Monday we do business goals, um, establishing your business goal for the week or the month. And um, so we can hold each other accountable. And it's kind of really powerful what you say when you, you know, put something out there. Um, and as a coach, that's what I do with my clients all the time. Like once you express what your goal is and what your vision is, it's easier for you to achieve it because all these people have also heard it. Um, so Tuesday is called let's help each other out. And that's an opportunity for people to pose questions or needs or, Hey, I just launched my website and I really need another set of eyes. Um, anybody know a good accountant or lawyer, you know, that kind of question that can happen. 
um, Wednesday is What's Working Wednesday. Um, and that actually, um, it started out as an opportunity for us to celebrate whatever, like, yay, I got a new client, or yay, I, you know, I made more this month than I have in my business so far. Um, but then I actually started curating Wednesday as well. I noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Oh, good. Um, uh, and so that's actually a different topic every Wednesday. So it's like, what's working for you around your taxes, or what's working for you around time management? Um, or social media. Um, and then once, um, once every couple months, we have a topic called what's not working, where we get to really talk about what's getting in the way or what's, um, you know, what we're scared of or, um, the thing that we really need to figure out for our business that we haven't yet. And so the Wednesday, um, is, is actually my favorite day because the conversation really shifts for that. Um, and um, people kind of share stuff that ideas that I wouldn't have thought of otherwise or tech tips that I wouldn't have thought of. Um, but then also kind of let me answer this question for real. Um, a Thursday um, has been kind of open and, mm -hmm. and Christine and I just launched a um, uh, an interview series of Facebook Live for our live um, for Hudson Valley Women in Business on Thursday mornings, and that's going to be really great. Where we get to highlight different women in our community. So there's a you know there's kind of the written aspect for the community, and now there's going to be a live aspect as well regularly on Thursdays. And then Friday is for self promotions. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's been great because another thing that I like that you've also put a new spin on the Friday self promotional thread, mm -hmm. which is that rather than just saying hey here's who I am and what I do. You've encouraged us to also link back and give shout outs to other group members, which is wonderful. Um, it's wonderful in three ways. First of all, it makes you look good if you're promoting someone else. Second of all, it promotes to someone else. Third of all, it, it really highlights the fact that the group is working. It's a good promotion for the group itself because it's oh. saying, look at how well all these people are connecting. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. And that's been a really great way of using a group because the whole the whole premise of groups is if you start a group being like, hey, buy my stuff, group. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, I'm promoting my business, group. It doesn't work as well. A, a group that's built around a community, meaningful interaction, which is something that Mark Zuckerberg directly said is going to be what they're trying to steer Facebook towards. Mm -hmm. You are ahead of your time by yeah. launching this group. Nice. You're doing yeah. it right. You're, get, you're getting in that algorithm, man. That's oh, great. I so. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, I like that part. I mm -hmm. like when we promote each other and talk about what each other are doing because, I mean, I think I would add to your, you know, a fourth point of what you said. It's like the person being highlighted feels really special. Like yes. you feel good about your business if somebody else has seen it mm -hmm. and says like, no, you're doing well. I want everybody else to know what you're doing because we need to hear that. We need to hear that as business people. And I think as women business owners, we, we really value that and thrive on it. Yeah. Um, so I think it's, it's doing something for us personally, for our own businesses, doing something for someone else that we care about. And then also for the community at large. Absolutely. Right. Now, um, how has the way you use social media for your own Simply Leap business changed? Oh my gosh. Well, um, you know, being in nearly 12 years in business, the, kind of everything has shifted, right? Like, um, you know, Twitter became a large part of my business a few years in, as I described um, in Washington, D.C. And then um, Instagram has taken on more of a presence. Um, what I'll say, though, is that um, I often have to, um, kind of have a, a pep talk for myself in my mind between like, okay, is, am I on social media, even for my business, am I on social media just to get the quick hit or is this really helping my business? What is it that social media is going to do for Simply Leap, um, that I'm not doing in other ways? And in fact, in the last year, um, I, I think I have um, not slowed down on social media, but really been more thoughtful about the thing that I'm doing um, because the majority of the people that I work with are on my mailing list. And yeah. I feel like a good number of my clients, especially business owners that I work with, forget their mailing list or they get intimidated by their mailing list. Um, that those people, by giving you their email address, they're saying, I trust you. They're saying, I want to hear from you. And so um, when I kind of go to social media, I also say to myself, like, is this something that I should be telling my mailing list as well? These people who really want to be connected with me, are there, are there things that should be on both 
And where is this message better? Um, because because social media tends to be a quick hit, mm -hmm. and just because you have likes doesn't mean it's going to happen. Also, not everyone will see it on social media because it's so algorithmic. Oh, and even true. though emails, you know, not everyone opens their email. The fact is, it is the most direct way to reach yeah. the people who have elected to hear from you. Yeah. And your email open rate is still likely going to be larger than your reach for a given social media post. Yeah, really well said. Um, yeah, so I, I think that I go between the two of them. Um, and what I'm finding now with, uh, with social media is um, it's a good backup to, or, or it supports a lot of the other work that I'm doing. So I do a lot of um, speaking engagements and workshops and I get more, people to approach me through that because I'm posting about, you know, um, like in Instagram and the stories or I'm posting, um, you know, on, on Twitter or LinkedIn, Hey, I'm speaking here, or this is where I spoke. And so, um, when people see the photos of the like person speaking, it's like, it puts, it puts in their mind, like, Oh, right. This is what I can work with someone on, or I post about my books and that's a similar way. So it's a good reminder for people. So I feel like it's a good support to the other thing. It's like a leg on the, on the table, um, that it's social media is a good support to the in-person networking and conversations that I'm having, um, the mailing list work and, um, and all the other aspects that, that go into it. So, so yeah, so I feel like social media has, has risen to the place where it has a place, mm -hmm. um, and it has to be, you know, it needs to be active. Um, and I don't think it can be any, everything, or at least it no. can't be everything for my business. And it needs to be strong. It needs to be curated because if you're just putting out noise, yeah. that's not really going to support that table yeah. as well. Yeah. Well, I love that. Well, thank you so much, Lori. Again, thank this you. is Lori Ostrovsky from Simply Leap Coaching and the uh, founder of the Hudson Valley Women in Business Group. Um, and I am Christine Gritman. This has been Social. I do this show every Friday at noon. Tune in next week when I will be speaking to another small business owner in the Hudson Valley about how they use social media for their small business. Bye.